cancer. Right now, as I speak, we are treating all cancers at the Cancer Disease Hospital. We've got sophisticated and very good equipment that we are using and we are able to treat all the cancers in the country. Not only did the Tevet scale create a platform for Messi, but also her employer shaped the career path with trainings that augmented her focused evidence-based career progression. Well, what is the actual Tevet benefit in her life? The Tevet program, in relation with, her, with, with what I did, radiography, is a very good program. It's a very, very good science program in the sense that um, when I was a student at Evelyn Horn College, I learned radiography and what was required in that field. And this is what I'm actually using now in my profession. From the, from the diploma that I did, I went to Johannesburg to do my, my diploma in therapy. I did a long distance training program, a BSc program in radiography, plus my master's in radiography. I realized that what I actually learned from radiography is what I'm actually using right now. And it was something that has been helpful. Just imagine when I was doing my master's, I could remember the things that I was learning at uh, Evelyn Horn College. And most of the things that I had learned at Evelyn Horn College are actually the things that I was also learning when I was doing part of my master's. And uh, it's, it's, I would say it's a very, very good program. The only thing I would say is that uh, we need to encourage a lot of young ones out there to do this course because we have a few, few radiographers in the country and that's the challenge we are actually facing. Hospitality industry has absorbed an enormous skilled TVET labor force that is enhancing the growth of the hospitality through TVET training. Hotel and Tourism Training Institute forms part of the TVET training providers undoubtedly molding trainees in tertiary and management education. Dr. Wilson Silungwe, Hotel and Tourism Training Institute Executive Director, explains. Tevet skills training are very, are very, very critical uh, because, uh, you know, as we develop as a nation, we should uh, put more thrust on entrepreneurship on skills development that will assist an individual be able to be self-employed even if they're not employed in formal employment. I, I think, uh, you know, with the strengthening of the TEVET uh, um, uh, skills training, we're actually developing the economy of the nation by encouraging people to focus more on entrepreneurship uh, as opposed to focusing on employment. So the students who graduate from here uh, actually have, uh, there's, a, there's a good number of students who graduated from here who have actually excelled, who have uh, run their own businesses and run them very successfully. Dotted all over the continent, Taj Group of Hotels forms part of this huge hospitality and tourism industry. Taj Pamo's Hotel Lusaka appreciate the role of TEVET skills training that are enhancing its human resource and operations at large. Learning and Development Manager Chao Zimvula explains his role and benefits accrued from the TEVET skills training. Under TEVET uh, at that college, I pursued uh, hospitality management, which was a three-year program. Uh, my experience uh, upon finishing, uh, I happened to have done very well. I graduated and uh, the school retained me under staff development program as a lecturer. I started teaching uh, uh, food and beverage programs at the same college. I would like to encourage the future students for TEVET programs because you know the government is diversifying now from copper industry to tourism industry or hospitality industry in short. So you, uh, you, all the students coming up now they're not going into a wrong field because you know copper at one time it will finish but the uh, Hospitality is a long run program. Evelyn Horn College, in many decades, prides with a mark of excellence in its health science and other disciplines of the TEVED integrated pedagogical platform. Basically, this department deals in uh, five areas biomedical science, environmental health, uh, physiotherapy, uh, radiography, 
and uh, pharmacy. Now, our role in, is to train, okay? Well, these are three-year pro diploma programs. So we look at what is required in the industry, in the health sector, and uh, we ensure that we are in touch with what is required. Then at the end of the day, we have to provide the human capital which is required in the various areas that I've just mentioned. Tele skills training basically is not an um, issue of theorizing, it's an issue of reality. Tele skills, you find that our students, as I wrote it to area on, they go into the industry. By the time we say the students have graduated, they are actually able to, 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 to run even a department. We don't need to say maybe trainee after someone has graduated because already they've acquired enough uh, competences to even run departments. We've got departments in this country in various, uh, whether it's biomedical, whether it's radiography, whereby, especially these remote areas, whereby some of our students, when they go there, they find literally nobody and they have to start. So in short, what I'm saying that when we, we, we use this route of tailored programs, we make sure that we integrate theory and practice. So by the time the, the students have graduated, they are able to practice competently. Tevet skills are a surviving and backbone in the infrastructure development of the economy. Thorn Park Construction Training Center, an annex of Lusaka Business and Technical College, form part of this survival and backbone Tevet skills trainings in the power electrical, carpentry and joinery, metal fabrication, and bricklaying. Head of department in the construction, Boaz Daka, explains how the center conforms to the labor market through TEVET education. I should encourage the, the people out there to, to take these TEVET skills because these TEVET skills are surviving skills. They are surviving skills because uh, the skills training in, in the TEVET the skills training are a backbone of a national infrastructure development. We we'll find that our national infrastructure development depends on these TEVET skills. What I would encourage the nations, especially uh, gra uh, school graduates, dropouts, or those who would be retrenches, please uh, come to Thorpe Park Construction Training Center and take one of these courses that we, 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 we take here. They will not make any mistake, they will help you. In your, in your career development. Stephen Perry, an electrician by profession, is a former student of Thorn Park Construction Training Center and now an employee of National Assembly. He now takes us through his career path. When I joined the Thorn Park Construction Center, that was in uh, uh, January 2011, I pursued this same course as an electrician and the, the things which I've acquired under Teveta are very productive, of which they cannot go uh, unnoticed because I'm able to do things on my own even without supervision. I chose this course to become an electrician because if you see today on the market, we have a lot of investors and we have got uh, a lot of companies which are coming. These companies which are coming on the market today, they have got new machineries. These machineries need someone to install them and to work on them to be repaired. So without an electrician, these machines cannot work. It was quite challenging at first, but with the help of the lecturers that we have here, they really assisted me to understand the art of bricklaying and plastering. Godfrey Mwanza, an ex-student and now an employee of Thonpa Construction Center, appreciates the TEVET skills training attend and how applied in his work and private life. Yeah done carpenter and journaling and it has done a lot to me. Uh, we make furnitures, tables, beds, anything, anything, uh, depends on planks. Uh, anyway, I've done a lot. In fact, uh, this career is good. Is the health science sector contributing to the economic sector regards poverty reduction with proud integration of TEVET skills training? When we go, our, our, as I indicated, our, our graduates, they will go in remote areas of the country. They work there in remote areas of the country. Meaning that we are bringing the, the service closer to the people, you see. And this 
you know, we use a lot of technology in our, in our, in our you know, delivery of service. Now, if we don't have our people who are well qualified with the competencies, you know, people, it will be very difficult for people to know what kind of service we should provide there in terms of what kind of tools we should go there. Sometimes the government may have the money to have the, those tools, but our service is a combination of human capital and the technology. So without uh, technology, you, you find that...